All right, boom! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We're at Sunshine State RV, as you can tell from my surroundings here. And we are about to look at this American Coach Patriot. It's a 2022 SD 4x4. So this is like uh, the short diesel. That's what the SD stands for. We're gonna take a look at this beautiful beast right now. So stay there, get ready to enjoy. There he goes, <laughs> Nick Schmidt, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> so, man, um, you know, if you guys are looking for Class B RVs, you got to come to uh, Sunshine State RV. Yes. Nick has uh, the biggest selection I've seen of like any dealer, right? We do, yes. We have the largest selection of any one place for Class B RVs. We're in Gainesville, Florida. This is what we specialize in. This is what we do. This is all we do. Our Class B, new and used. You know, for you know, number one in the state of Florida, stat surveys, we sell number three in the whole United States. So, you know, it's cool that people are acknowledging that specializing in something actually works. Yeah. Having finding something it and does. just focusing on it is yeah. actually a good business model. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of surprising. I want to know about like whatever it is I'm into. So now this is uh, American Coach Patriot. Yes. So, so SD. today. Right. Today, I was real excited. I called Hank last week. I yeah. said, Hank, I just got a very, very sweet RV in. Right. And he's like, tell me all about what it is. I sent him one picture, and then he said, I'll be there tomorrow oh, yeah. morning. I said, well, you got to give me another day. I'm a little busy. Right. But <laughs> he, he showed up Monday morning at 9 a.m. ready to film this video. It's a 2022 American Coach Patriot SD. So the SD stands for short diesel. Right. So it, this is, so we've seen the American Coaches before. Yes. But this is the shorter This is the short. This is the first one we've gotten in about six months right so this is a short diesel it's 19 feet this Come is a four this by four mm -hmm. this is a four by four it's lifted it has the the all-terrain off-road wheels it has a nice big roof rack it has a ladder on the other side and it has a ton of really really cool things in it yeah so let's start with it is raining out here but we're gonna try to do our walk around real quick who buys this? Like, who's the customer? I, I was excited by this, by the way. Yes. Because I like the short wheelbase. To me, this is like, uh, like a bigger version of a Jeep, except you yep. have room yep. and you have luxury. Yes. A lot but who of buys this? Who buys so, it? so being that it's a short diesel, it is 19 foot. It still has the power couch in the back, so two people can sleep on it. Mm -hmm. Our typical customer, something like this, is like a, uh, a, a younger professional couple that can work remote, that wants to do a little stuff at Quartzsite or Moab, or, or they want to just kind of go to national parks and be off-road a little bit. Not like, not real off-road yeah, that you do in a Jeep, man. but right, yeah. right. We're before, not <laughs> before the Jeep guys get mad. Yes, we're not doing any Jeep off-roading in this. Yeah, thing. even Jeeps can't go everywhere, right? It depends on how you, you have it. Your mouth. How you, well, I mean, they can go to a lot of places, <laughs> but it depends on how you have it, what yeah. kind of equipment you yeah. have on oh, there. 100%. And you sacrifice stuff. Yes. Like if you want to be able to rock crawl and go everywhere, you're not really going to have a lot of room inside and be able to carry a bunch right. of stuff. So what's cool so is what there's not want. a lot of sacrificing when it comes to this. Yes. When you have the off-road, you have the eco-freedom, you have the lithium, the solar, and you have the luxury, you have the toilet, the fridge, the microwave. I mean, everything is in one of these. So you got a young professional couple, um, a lot of just older single people. So like the last one I, at least I saw was a guy in his you know, early 60s, wanted something a little tougher looking, mm -hmm. you know, single guy, just want to travel around and, and wanted the eco freedom. So wanted the lithium package and all that. So that way he had freedom to stay wherever he wanted, national parks. Um, he was in the service so he could stay on army bases, any yeah. type of military base. Right. So just like some cool, cool type of places that a bigger RV couldn't get you. And you don't have to worry. And you don't have to worry. Yeah. You, you, you don't have to have a plug-in because you have lithium. You don't have to have pavement because you have the all-terrain off-road tires. You don't even have to have really anything because you have four by four. So you have yeah. everything you need. Yeah. No propane, it's all electric. Yeah. You don't have to worry about power. Um, you've got a roof rack, so you've got extra storage because yep. this is shorter. Yep. I saw four solar panels up there. We'll talk about those as we're yeah. walking. So let's uh, start from the inch. So this is a 25. 2500. This is a 2500, so it's the okay. same V6 3.0 engine that, that the bigger ones have. It is the same engine, same transmission, that uh, 10 speed transmission, very comfortable, has all the same safety features that all the other Mercedes Sprinters do with the blind spot assist, collision avoidance, 
um, all, all of the crosswind detection, the laser cruise, push button start, everything that your normal Mercedes Sprinter has, this 4x4 four by, four by four has. It also has these active xenon lights, like this like active package where, where the lights here will turn on when you're going slow and you put your blinker on, the lights kind of move for you. And like, so you can see where you're going. See where you're going, very active, very, very cool lighting upgrade. Yeah, okay, it's got tire upgrades. You want to start does. and go this way on the van? So uh, yeah, go. yeah, so What's we got off-road. These are uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain. These are, um, I believe they're 17, yep, 17-inch yeah. tires. Yeah, method race wheels. Okay, yeah. name of the rims so, on there. They look good. Pretty cool, kind of beefier, bigger. Yeah. You know, beefier package. It kind of gives it that off-road look and feel. And even if you never go off-road, this thing's just awesome looking. You know, the four by four gives you the lift. It gives yeah. you the extra clearance. And and it's like you pull up in this thing, people are definitely gonna look at you. So people this are gonna still look. has the same. Uh, what is it like six inches? It does. It also um, has the a sumo one. spring uh, suspension upgrade. So okay. full sumo suspension on the rear and the front of this. Okay. So even so, shorter, easier to drive, but still all that stuff, right? Still sumo. Got spring. power doors. It we'll, does. We'll go in there in a second, but you can show them. We can walk around. It's, yeah, it's not raining around. bad. Yeah. So, so you have a power have? awning up here with okay. with the LED lights as well. So the same as the same as a normal Sprinter or a yeah. Beyond like you have or any Class B, you still have the same power awning. This one has the right. LED light strip. You press the button, the awning What's comes up? all the way out. So you have a little campsite over here. Yeah, and now I noticed uh, when you have the roof rack, the awning goes on the roof rack. It does. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice look, though. It is. It's sharp. Yeah. It's yeah. It very, really very nice. sharp. Okay. So this is something people go crazy for. So this Eco Freedom. So American Coach has been making Class A RVs for years. They are a high-end, super luxury Class A manufacturer. The American Coach Dream and the Liberty, I don't know all their names. Yeah, but they ended up, they wanted to make some Class B RVs. And so their customers decided they love the American Coach name. They love the brand. They love how they hold their value. They love their warranty. They love everything about the quality of an American Coach. So that's why they said, hey, let's make these high-end class B RVs. Yeah. And let's give them luxury. Let's give them four everything. by four. Let's give them everything in a small class B not, coach. It's not, so just like if anyone's wondering, Nick's not just saying that. Um, we were both actually uh, up in Indiana yeah. and I got a chance, I think you went there as well, but I got a factory tour at Midwest Industries. Yep. Uh, Midwest Automotive Designs. Yes. Who, the, they, they partner with American Coach and they make these that's coaches. How, yeah, that's how these get built. It's amazing. <laughs> it, it is amazing. They make everything. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, I don't want to say everything, but I mean, watch the talking. factory tour. Watch yeah. the factory tour. He does a great yeah. job on it. Look at it. It's coming out soon. Count how many times I see one of these, and I get all crazy and excited. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, okay. So, so, so Eco Freedom. So the right. Eco Freedom. This is like the twenty-five thousand dollar sticker right here. There's so much more that comes. So you have your solar. You have your big inverter your 600 amp hour lithium batteries, you have your BMS, you have no propane, everything electric. No need and for a generator. No need this. for a generator. It has an underhood generator, but no need for the Onan. So you're yeah. saving weight, you're saving hassle and maintenance. And there's so much stuff that this Eco Freedom package gives you that a traditional RV still has in a propane tank, uh, Onan generator, yeah. All kinds of stuff, but but this one you really have the freedom to do whatever you want, yeah, anywhere you want, too. anywhere you want, anytime yeah. you want. You are not tied down to outside power. You have everything you need in the coach. Okay. It so is starting to rain a little bit. You want to jump in? Yeah. Let's let's go in there. And uh, so we'll, we'll come Mercedes back has the cool power door. I love the power door, man. Yes. I'm a fan of the power door. Yes. Very Plus, nice. it's going to be nice and cool inside. So let me let me go in here. I'll go in before you. This is a little bit smaller. So here's your uh, here's your front your cockpit cabin on the Mercedes. Like you said, you know, 10 inch navigation screen, push button start. Uh, some cool American coach does that nobody else does is they give you a Firefly right up front. Yes. So right there as the driver, Man. you get to control everything in the back of the coach: the awning, the air conditioner, the lights, yeah. the fusion radio, anything you want, you control from right there. Yeah, that's convenient because I always get in and start driving and then you oh, I left the lights on. <laughs> right, so you can just turn everything off right yeah. there. You have the button there in the middle is, is the power door power button. Door, right. And then you have your 10 inch navigation screen. That, yes. That you can talk to it. That's you what your say, keys look like. Uh -huh. You can say stuff like, hey Mercedes. And it, and when that function is turned on, it will, mm -hmm. will respond to you and you say, take me to the closest 
Sonny's Barbecue, whatever you want to tell it. And it finds it. Uh, it finds the chairs, it. both chairs swivel. Both right? chairs swivel. We got this one swivel right now just to show you what it looks like. Yes. So something pretty neat that American Coach does, they make all of this in-house. So yeah. they, they do not buy it from a manufacturer. They actually no. stitch every one of these stitches yeah. gets stitched at the factory of yeah. American Coach. The piping gets done there. Yeah. Everything gets made. Their wood, their vinyl, they they construct this RV in their factory. They're, yeah. they're not just getting boxes and throwing it together. You they know, do a great job. You know what's a cool thing I found out when I was there? You're 100% right. They rebuild these chairs, right? Like whatever chairs it comes with from Mercedes. It's cool. Yes. They're great seats. Mercedes. But they redo the chairs even down to the frame. They make the frames and stuff like that themselves. It's neat. So, it is neat. Um, all right, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna enjoy this seat, Nick. There we go. So, pretty um, neat, something American Coach does. I love a double door. Okay, so, can we close this? Hold yes. on a sec, let's close Power that. Door. There goes the door. Very, very fancy there, Hank. Nice, nice, okay, just enjoying that a little bit. There we go. Did you show everybody your Audi out there, by the way? Oh, did I? No, nice. I didn't do that. That thing's pretty sweet, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> Stranger Palooza I'm at its best. Yeah. <laughs> so something pretty cool American Coach does, they give you a nice big double door. So you have one door here, one right. door here. You can have both doors open if you would like. You can have get one door space. open. You do have a shower curtain still. They give you a nice teak floor in there as well. Give you That's a fancy nice. look. Yeah, so your foot, your feet don't get wet necessarily. That is, that is true. They're not standing in water. You do have a sink right there. You can mm -hmm. brush your teeth. That is a shower head. You can hand hold it. Okay. or you can put it on the the mount right there for it very nice not every rv comes with this there is a exhaust fan in the bathroom mm -hmm. so while you're showering you can have air coming in while you're using the facilities you can mm -hmm. also have air nice big mirror on the door yeah that's uh, that's something that people are always looking for i know lola is looking for that so it's great to have a full-size mirror there's a clothing line here it is that you I've know before that comes out you know somehow. hank when i don't know how to do the clothing line yep. i guess you gotta loosen it and so when i've there you, go. there you go yep pull it out yeah. and hang it there when i've used these i leave both doors open and i get in there with just a shower curtain and it just gives me that extra space elbow room it gives me the extra elbow room being able to fit in here and this you know? is the same size this so, looks like the same size so like plenty. a full size um like in the full size versions of these that it, American Coach makes. This is the same Exact same, same shower. So I'm six foot tall, yeah. about 230 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get that physique like Hank. Right, I'm not, it, it takes a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. But I fit fine in this thing. You yeah. know, I taking a shower, plenty of room to move around in here. The curtain, you know, with the door open, it just gives me that room, you yeah, know. more room to move And around. I like how there's yeah. double doors, you know, you can yeah. really have that space. Yeah, and you can use this, you can have multiple uses for this if you want, right? That is, yes. Yes. So, so I've also seen people it. store their golf clubs in here when they know mm -hmm. they're not taking a shower or using a lot. Yeah. They store golf clubs, they store boxes, anything in here. Then when they need it, they just, you know, play little musical chairs and move it in and out. Right, you know? move it around. Yeah. Okay. Very crab. Grab these doors here. Right, cool here. Let me turn the system down. Where's the audio for this thing? Here we go. Turn that audio down. Okay. Looks like it's off. Something's talking. Something is talking. I don't know what's talking. It's not me. What is that? Oh, oh, it's, um, it's here on the speakers. <laughs> maybe it's the fusion radio here in the back. Probably. So pretty neat. There is a separate. Oh, I My see. Was two. Ooh, okay. So there's there a separate go. radio here oh, in that's the back. Cool. So that way you can, if you're sitting back here hanging out, mm -hmm. you don't have to have the Mercedes engine on in order to have music or to have anything. You can leave all that off and you can have everything right here. It Bluetooths from your phone or you can control it right here. So I have a Fusion app on my phone. Okay. I can just go to the app and I can play the music, uh, play my own playlist, however I want to do it. And mm -hmm. it'll just play it throughout the coach and yeah. It's yeah. And so this TV neat. here, because I think they do, so this is a, they do smart TVs, They do, right? yep. Okay. So this is a 24-inch LG smart TV. Nice. Um, this There is an antenna, a digital antenna here. Mm -hmm. So you typically get um, about 8 to 10 channels, depending mm -hmm. on where you're at and kind of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So you can watch TV here. Uh, you can also, because it's a smart TV, you it does come with a Wi-Fi router as well mm -hmm. and Apple TV. So you, so you can hook up your Wi-Fi router mm -hmm. and you can hook the TV up to the router and the Apple TV. So that way you can have Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, yeah, whatever Hulu you like. Stream. Whatever you like to stream, you can mm -hmm. stream it right here very seamlessly. Yeah. Very seamlessly. So once again, like the seating goes all the way through um, and everything 
matches. So, like, for example, the wood. I can't remember exactly. What wood is this? This, this is the satin finish. Yeah, it's the, a satin finish on a black Denali. Black Denali. And black so the, Denali. That's and this why is the a graphite. So yeah. the graphite seats with the black piping. So, yeah. so American Coach lets you pick whatever you want on these things. So mm -hmm. you can pick different color piping. You can pick different color seats. You yeah. can even pick a different color wall. So this yeah. is the graphite wall oh, with, yeah. with the black wood Denali. everywhere, man. They put you know, wood on everything. Something pretty sweet. These have full opening. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you gotta move that. Full opening windows with a screen right there. Yeah. So that is a full windows. There's the, the shade. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I don't know if these are powered or not. I know some of them you can get they their shades powered, powered by me. Oh. <laughs> so, anyways, it just yeah. needs a little adjusting. Now, yeah. But it is it is a big window there. There's also a big window here. So we have yeah. what people like to know as cross ventilation. Yeah. So it's the same same curtain here. Yeah. This is cool. And yeah. That, like in the back, of, nice big back windows. Of a lot of these vehicles, you get you get windows, but not necessarily as big. Correct. So that, that is, is cool to see that on this shorter version, you are getting a bigger window. That is correct. So, yeah. like I said earlier, there are three fireflies. So there's mm -hmm. the one on the driver's side. Mm -hmm. There's the big one right when you walk in. Right. Right at the door. Right so, here. So this firefly right mm -hmm. here controls everything in the coach. You got your battery power. This is how you turn your fridge on and off. Mm -hmm. Your inverter, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. You can control the bed. You can oh. control all the lights. Your awning. Then we can control the lights individually. We can control the air conditioner separately. This is your inverter, and then there's other options. Yeah, you of, can see your tank. Kind of what you can do. All your tank readings are in here. Your hot water heater, mm -hmm. your water pump, all your tank heaters, your fusion stereo. So this is that stereo I talked about in the back. We oh. can change the channel on okay, it. Okay, this is actually pretty uh, detailed. You, can, you do whatever you want. You can you can change the volume mm -hmm. somehow. There, it is, you and see. there you go. Okay. And back down. <laughs> and back down. So, yeah. a lot of Yeah, cool you got Bluetooth. I see. That's cool. Yeah, auxiliary, a of, USB. Uh, a lot of cool things you can do here. Yeah. Uh, Firefly is a great company. They have apps on your phones that you can control this stuff mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Um, as we're walking through the kitchen here, you know, being this is a 19 footer, you are getting a smaller countertop. Yeah. You are still getting a good size sink. Mm -hmm. um, hot water here, this kind of pulls out to do what you need. Yeah. An induction stove, that can be a stove, but when you don't want to be a stove, it does act as a flat top for the countertop. Yeah. You do have a, a fridge here. There is yeah. room. I've put three Ben and Jerry's in there before. Right. Three, On your Ben and Jerry scale three three in the freezer. <laughs> that is how I measure you can it. Do it. You can do it. If it gave yeah. you like the rotten tomatoes, it gave you five rotten tomatoes. <laughs> this is, I would give that fridge yeah. a three Ben and Jerry's rating. So. So one of the things with this, right? So you asked me which Ben and Jerry's I eat. Is that what you're asking yeah. me? Which one? So the half baked, <laughs> strawberry cheesecake, and cookies and cream. Yeah, he's not so making it up. That he that's what you were about to ask me, wasn't it? <laughs> no. That's not what you were gonna ask me. No. Oh, geez. Heck, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the thing is? What is this like a 144 chassis? This is a 144. So that's yeah. the wheelbase. The bigger one's a 170 standard, and then yeah. there's 170 extended. Yeah. So the 170 extended's 24 feet six inches. Mm -hmm. The 170 standard's 22 feet, and this one's 19 feet, about five and a half inches. Yeah. So typically. For a lot of people who want to do a little bit more off-roading, quote unquote, right? Yeah. They get these shorter yeah. ones. But if you look at other companies, and I'm not trying to knock anyone because I think people have lots of great options. They do. And stuff like that. And some of them even have more off-road stuff. But you don't really get like a sink, a fridge. 100%. You know, so you don't get a full, like a full shower. So that is correct. So the one that, that people know the most is the Revel made by mm -hmm. Winnebago. So so that's a nice off-road, same chassis, same everything. The biggest difference is going to be inside the coach. Mm -hmm. So right now, you feel like you're in a very low, you are in a very luxurious yeah. Class B coach that has all the stuff you need, the 12-volt air conditioner, yeah. you have your fridge, your, oh, everything you need in here. When you're in a Revel, you just you you don't have all this stuff you yeah. know there's a lot of the luxuries in this coach but you're not sacrificing your 4x4 mm -hmm. capability your mm -hmm. off-road capability your storage you're not sacrificing any of that this just gives you that much more hank i mean yeah. it just gives you that much more luxury that much more stop. everything yes and so. and i would totally do this if it was my only vehicle yeah well i you mean know? you would trade in the audi today for this if if, if lola was kicking me out and, and I so can, we can pause the video and go talk about training the Audi for the Patriot. No, no, I, oh. no I, I'm not, I can't give up my Audi. <laughs> not not can't right give up the Audi. But I love these. I love yes. these because if the, it really, honestly, if it was your only vehicle, this is small enough you could go anywhere. Yep. So my wife drives anywhere. a Cadillac Escalade. It's 18 mm -hmm. foot 3 inches. This yeah. is 19 foot 6 inches. So yeah. I'm that much bit longer than my wife's Escalade. Yeah. 
right. and so you can sit four people, right? Are they, are these, one, two, bench, three. Um, you can someone can sit here very is, comfortably. There's not a seat belt here. Okay, but, but in those in the there big are benches, there are three okay. seat belts right here. Yes. Okay, so you can sit five. Three, five seat belts, six. Okay, you can put someone here you don't like so much. Yeah, but if you if you've got this to be everything, you can take passengers. You can. 100%. You can't necessarily. You're saying this sleeps comfortably two people, right? Two here. people. Yep. So yeah. this here. Let's see how it. Let's see how it converts. Press a button. And it takes about go. four seconds, and it folds completely flat. And then you just lay on it just like this. Yeah. And there is a, there tall. is a centerpiece here, so. You I'm can six sleep, tall, you can and sleep I can three people back there if you really had to. I mean, if you had to. Yeah, you know, like two two adults and their baby. So not or their bad. dog, which, I, is, which is the same thing a lot of times. <laughs> so I like leaving this out because you can just drop your feet. Yeah. And you can get in and out of it. You know, if you're sleeping, you're ready to get yeah. up. You just drop your feet and yeah. you get up rather than having to scoot yourself out. So you know, yeah. this is a nice. That's a nice way of doing it. Lots um, of room here. What's um? So in here, is this storage or anything? No, these or are not storage. So this. This has a lagoon table oh, okay, feature right here. Yeah. So, so you put the lagoon table there, mm -hmm. and then you can swivel it around and do all kinds of cool okay. stuff. And then there's cup holders. Cup holder here, cup holder here. here. USB ports everywhere. Right. USB ports here. There's some back here. Yeah. So lots of. I'll just go into the cabinets for you guys. We might have to give it a minute here to adjust so you can see it. But there you go. I mean, lots. This is pretty big. This is a deep storage here. Uh, let's see. Can we hold this up? Uh, I can put a light in there. I can, yeah. So here, I've got my uh, trusty flashlight on me, Nick. Oh. So trust, check that out. So look at how deep that storage is right there. Okay. So even though this is small, it's still yeah. the same size. Lots as of the storage big ones, here. Storage, storage, storage on yeah. both sides. Yeah. I mean, this is a smaller. Closes, closes. This is a smaller one, but still the there. same kind of thing. Yeah. You know, you could put uh, you could put your iPad and stuff like that in there. <laughs> Or things. Yeah, yeah. Or, or other things. A little safe. Freedom sticks, as uh, we like to call them around here if you need them. There's more storage. That's really... So this one's really the bigger one. Yeah. Um, and, oh, then what about this right so, here? So, so this here has has a bar in it so you can hang stuff up. And it's a nice big wardrobe there. Oh, okay. So plenty of space there. There's another mirror right here. Lola yes. would love this one. Absolutely. Look at Hank's pretty face. Right, right, yeah. I, I flex in front of the mirror sometimes, Nick. There we go. You know, there I mean, yeah, it's not for everyone, but... <laughs> Max it's Air, not for me. <laughs> Max Air Vent, controlled. So I, I like how American Coach trims all this stuff out as well. So it's not just a white plastic air conditioner yeah. on top. They really go all out by putting these wood diffusers here. There's a wood diffuser yeah. over the Max Air Vent. Yeah. So right overhead here. Very sharp looking. Yeah. Just, just finishes everything. All the walls, everything yeah. is this nice vinyl. You know what this does? Besides make it look sharp, it it gives you good insulation. Mm -hmm. um, these do have like an R16 rating. Mm -hmm. They also have tank heaters. So if you wanna if you're wanting to go up in the UP, the Upper Peninsula of mm -hmm. Michigan, let's say, mm -hmm. you have tank heaters. You have an R16 um, rating for heating. You have all of your, your lithium batteries have heaters built into them as well. Okay. Um, and then the so they don't lose the charge so they don't they lose the charge up, yeah. being so cold and then all of your lines mm -hmm. so what american coach does is they put 90 percent of their lines inside the coach the ones that are outside the coach are lines that are going up and down into into the tanks that are mm -hmm. heated yeah so up and down lines end up not holding water so they don't so they don't burst yeah, so they you don't, don't freeze to, yeah um but these are made with cold weather in mind. Here in so Florida, they're quote unquote uh, like four season or whatever. So what is four that seasons thing? is like a yeah. distinction that you can just not do anything different and just camp all through four seasons. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you would need to winterize this or put some type of some type of glycol in in the lines oh, you if you're okay. going to be in freezing temperatures. Um, but but yes, there is a lot of a lot of uh, things that American coach does a lot of things they do on this coach in order to make it where you can camp year round in it. All right, very cool features, just a uh, shorter floor plan here. Should we go out yeah. and talk about it? And as you can tell, I still, I, I mean, I'm six or tall, I'm a big guy. Yeah. I fit great in this thing, you know? So there is a lot of space, even being 19 foot. But a lot of the cool stuff about this coach that makes it different and unique are outside the four yes. by four features the functionality of that so that yeah. that is very exciting that's why everyone loves these all right after you nick after me after you just press the magic button oh boy <laughs> and it works you're stealing that 
You're gonna get a copyright strike on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna hear me when we get the copyright strike. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Power sliding. <laughs> Power sliding, power awning, right. off-road wheels, Eco Freedom. We come back here. This is the distinction that it is a 4x4, 2500 chassis. Uh, there's uh, a little step up right there. There's a little notice. step up here. It okay, does. And, and, tow, and tow stuff back there, yep. too. 5,000 okay. pounds of towing capacity. So um, oh. As you open the, go ahead, open the doors. So we're going to look at the back garage here. One of the things I really like about American Coach that I think is different. Um, from what I see from other people is actually right here, Nick, right behind you. Yeah. Um, these doors, so this could be, if you look on the outside, it's a big, it's a bigger piece of glass, right? Yes. But they actually insulate around here and they make a smaller window so you get better privacy, but you can still see out and, insulated. And good insulation. And somewhere in here, do they put, there's some yeah. kind of, uh, there you go. Uh, a curtain? Yeah, you can still, yeah, built in blackout. That's really cool. I know it might seem like a small thing to some people, but I love that. Yes, so insulating the back doors is something that people have been asking about for a while and American Coach started doing it last year. Yeah. The the rear door insulation is a big deal because you know you're gonna lose a lot of your heat where the sun is hitting. Yeah. So if the sun is hitting you here, you know, this is where or you know, cold or hot. I'm in Florida, so yeah. I always think about hot coming in. Yes. So, right. you know, yes, these doors are insulated, so American Coach. Yeah. And I even like the detail they use. Yeah. You know, you got some carpet here, you got some nice texture here. You know, typically these are just plastic and forgotten about areas. Yeah. You know, they do nice here by covering everything. So by looking at this, you can't tell this is a back storage area. No. But then you lift it up and you got plenty of storage. Yeah. So you got pass-through storage here. So you can pass stuff all the way through. So you have skis, you have, you know, lumber, anything yeah. you want to that's a reasonable, it's not the biggest in class, obviously, because it's a smaller vehicle, Correct. but you still have room back here. I see there's some power plugs, so you can plug in things yep. back here to charge. Yep. So if you had like electric scooters or something that you're putting back here, you could plug it in. Um, easy access, you got all your fuses and stuff, so very oh, okay. easy access cool. to things here and there. Yeah. Same thing, so it is nice when they give you access to things that, that break. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. and then there's a big, you mentioned the big uh so let's say you have this oh so, yeah a so nick you know you you want to do you know how you always see on the class b videos you see someone here the bed is down that is down you know you're, you're relaxing by the water that, over yes. here yeah you know you got Bam. your screen to pull your screen down <laughs> oh that's yeah. never going to be me and you necessarily I'll say, you want me to lay the bed down and go pose for you <laughs> do you want to <laughs> so i will make that the thumbnail <laughs> very nice and then no one will watch it <laughs> exactly exactly you do not want that yeah no that's cool though yeah nice big screen gives you that yeah. privacy you open the windows in there Lots of cross ventilation, lots yeah. of, you know, it depends on where you're at and what you're doing. This may be the pretty view right here. So like, right. I mean, all joking aside, that bed's down. It is. This is the nice view, yeah. you get fresh air coming in. This is why, this is why they this do why this you do stuff. It. Yeah, absolutely. If you're out somewhere really, if you're out in the mountains, there's no one to, there's no one to see No one you. to bother you, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Instagram photographers are following you around. Right, exactly. So as, as we walk around the coach, you can see size wise, 19 foot six. Very short, very easy to maneuver. Um, something American Coach does very well is they hide all of their RV components. Right. So the only thing you're gonna have is this right here. This is where you plug in. So this is your 30 amp power source right Still there. Power. Uh, and then what's that? Is that? Uh, so good? that is the exhaust for the uh, furnace. Okay. Because it is all electric, there's no propane anywhere in this RV. There's not even a propane tank in the RV. The, the furnace runs on diesel, so it's the diesel fuel from the engine that, that heats up, and that's how you have your furnace. And, it has and so that is the exhaust for it. Okay, cool. Keep you safe. Yes. Keep you safe. Uh, the awesome wheels back here. Then you have the really cool thing that we always talk about. This right. is a very sleek, everything all in one compartment here. Um, very cool. This is a uh, outside shower, so this is hot and cold water. Oh, nice. So you can wash your feet, you can wash your dog, wash your dog's feet, whatever you want. Um, this is this is where you where you fill your, uh, or the, yeah, you fill your tank here. Uh, black tank flush, gray tank flush. These are typically things you see on big class A RVs. Okay. The back tank flush, but American Coach, being that they make big class A RVs, right. they give you the same functionality, the same luxury as all the other ones. So here you have yep. your, your different valves. 
when you're dumping it, you have your pump. This is what I really like. Oh, is this a... Uh, so this is a power macerator reel. Let's see here. It's in. It's in now. So let's yeah, pull it take out. it out. There it is. So you pull it out. Put it down the train. Put it down. Press the button. It's a macerator. Then when you're done, you put pull it back, it back in. in. Nice. How cool is that? Yeah. So you're not right. handling. You still might want to put some gloves on, but Correct. you're not like handling it. You're not doing too much of the stuff. It's just yeah. very nice and very yeah. easy to use. So yeah. And then when you close it back up, it's it's a little bit more stealth. Well, so, so that's why they do this to keep it stealth because people are driving these. They don't want everyone knowing they have an RV. You know, this right. is yeah. more of of an off-road thing. Yeah. Than than an RV. So they, yeah. So. Everything is tucked away. It's not out yeah. and exposed and all that. Everything is tucked away nice and neat. And they, there. this is one of the things I learned from the factory. Like their paint, it doesn't come like this. They paint all of this, Correct. which is not easy. So like all some of, of this is plastic cladding this and is stuff like that. Black yeah. plastic, they make this, they make yeah. that. So yeah. they, they do a lot to get these looking the way that they look and feeling like a very high-end, nice class B coach. Right, and then there's a ladder here. So this is the ladder. Which there. means someone's got to climb up the ladder. I'm a big dude. You go, are you going up the ladder? Oh, I go up it all the time. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at those sexy legs right there. Oh, boy. So, you should have been a supermodel. Oh, well, I am. <laughs> so, you're up on top of the coach. Yeah. <laughs> easily, easily hold you up here. You can store stuff up. There's a ton of solar panels up here. Yeah, can come I come on. up there also? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Here we go. Both of us up here. All right. <laughs> yeah, see, one, two, two three, three, four. Four big solar panels. And you can still store a bunch of stuff up here. You can store some stuff up here. What people have done is, depends on what's more important to them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they they sometimes they sometimes get rid of one or two of the solar panels to have more storage, depending mm -hmm. on what they want to do and how they want right. to do it. Yeah. But this is very functional, very useful area. It here. is, and and the solar panels are bolted. I don't know if you guys can see right here. They're bolted to the rack, so you can you can remove them if very you want easily. to, and then put them back when you need them back. Very again. depends yeah. on what you're doing. If yeah. you need more storage, people have put storage boxes up here. Right. They've done things up here to have more storage. Yeah. But some people would rather have solar panels. Yeah. So. You know, that's yeah, I, I mean, and you well. could put a kayak or something up here. Definitely when can. you're driving, it doesn't matter that you're blocking out the solar panels. That is correct. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to slowly, carefully climb down, and then I'm going to get Nick climbing down. Oh, there we go. Is that good? Come on down. You like you like climbing up on these things, I think. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. This is where we do. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> so very functional. Oh, that's cool. It does look cool, but it, but it's also useful. You can use it. Yeah. I like things that look good and that are useful that make sense. So having a fixed ladder on the side makes more sense than on the back to me. Yeah. Having it to where you can access the roof rack, clean the solar panels, go up there, rewire things, do whatever you need. Yeah. Very useful. That's very big, useful. Yeah. It is a big deal. Very cool. And and you know you can be inventive with uh, putting things up here on the rack. If That's you need true. to, hanging yep. things off. I had one guy store a kayak on this. Yeah. So he just put a kayak on the side of it and just wrapped it up, stored the kayak on this, stored right. bikes on it. You, know, yeah. you, you can also put a box on the back and put yeah. bike bikes there or, or things, yeah. anything you want to store. Yeah. The the uh, So the thing I've noticed with doing the, the van life is, yes, yeah, small footprint, even bigger. Yes. Like mine, this is 19, mine is what, 22? 22. So it's got three more feet. Yeah. You can't put your whole house in here. <laughs> you have to adapt to it. You do have to adapt. But if you really want to get off road and go fun places, do a lot more fun things, mm -hmm. you know, but you're not like ready to go hardcore with a Jeep or whatever, a Fort Runner. This is or great. I think you go off road anywhere you need. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so listen. What's the, what does this cost? Let's go so, up front here and talk about that. So, what is this? Uh, and this one is not sold, right? Usually you have these sold when you have them. This one is not sold. This is the new 2022. Mm -hmm. So the uh, MSRP on it somewhere in the 230 range. Okay. Uh, we have it for sale for 180 
184 nine. 184 nine. Yes. Um, and then the shorter footprint, I don't think there's as many of these. There's not. But there is a little bit of more demand for the guys who, you yes. know, who want these yes. particular yes. things. Right? We have a bunch on order. Um, mm -hmm. So it is something that people really like. Something that that we're trying. It's just with all the shortages right now, Mercedes yeah. is having a hard time producing yeah. Yeah. them for the factory. So that's the biggest thing in the RV industry right now are, are the shortages. But something like this here will sell really quick. We deliver free uh, anywhere in the United States. Um, no charge, not at all. We deliver right to your front door for you. We take care of everything digitally, virtually. We make sure that it's a very easy, very easy transaction for you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not kidding, Nick. I, I'm really. I'm like. I would seriously be tempted to do this, you know, just because these are so. I don't know, man. There's something about the shorter ones oh, that's, sweet. that's really cool. So Easy thanks. To drive. Yeah, e everything. Thanks for that. Yes, I appreciate it. Here, you guys, make sure you go to Sunshine State RV if you're looking for this kind of stuff. Uh, real quick, here at the end, what do you guys have? You just mentioned, you know, like what's available, not available. What's the most available? Here is it the ProMaster chassis? Yes. Are folks are looking for those. Yes. We have more ProMasters than anything else. Right okay, now. but I did see four Transit. There's a couple are those of already Fords. sold. Oh, nah, I think we might have one or two Fords right now. Okay, if you're we, looking, we got half a dozen Mercedes, and we okay. got you know. Are you getting the all-wheel drive Transit in? Oh, which yes, we're trying. Okay, <laughs> we are trying very trying? hard. Very yeah, hard. is it getting? Do you see? Is it getting worse? You think it will get better? It's getting worse right now. For it the is. Next few months. Yeah, okay. probably till the end of the year. Then, then hopefully things break free and there'll be more okay I uh, you know I mean I don't know it's, it's just how it is right now in every the market. day struggle yes every day struggle. if you guys want to find out more about these I am gonna put out the um, the basically the American coach factory tour yeah that's coming out that's soon great. you'll see this you'll see the bigger ones all that kind of stuff awesome Nick thanks so much hey, man appreciate you man you're great appreciate you too we're out of here make sure you like share subscribe check out Sunshine State peace <laughs>